Man, I don't even want to go home. I want to sit here till they run me out. Before we start the video, I want everybody to know that I did get the Battleship Texas sounding its whistle today. They were working on it, uh, clearing it out, I guess, and getting it going again. That's probably a requirement of the Port Authority and or the Coast Guard, maybe. Now, the first few soundings of it, I was standing by a window unit air conditioner, uh, and that came through loud and clear on the microphone, although standing there, it wasn't that bad. But anyway, I, after I realized that that was probably coming through on the microphone, I moved to a different location, got a few more soundings without the AC noise. So when you hear those first soundings and that rumbling of the AC noise, don't worry about it. It's going to get better. Now let's check it out. What's different, what's new, what's changed, and the sounding of the whistle. Howdy, everybody. Welcome to the August 2022 Battleship Texas update. As you can see, we are here at the park. We're gonna give the ship a walk around, see what we can find that might be new on the ship, see if there's any spray painting been done on the ship or painting that's been done on the ship that may, make, that may mark areas for tugboats to push, tug from. There are a large number of people here today. Uh, it's August 21st, 2022, about two o'clock in the afternoon there's 14 cars over there so there's a good good contingent of people here today which is good to see <coughs> pardon me while I sneeze I know that's that's in reverse it's okay now we're not going to be getting the drone into in the air today I do have one in the car like I've told you before I always do but we're not going to be getting it in the air today because I just don't think much has changed. There are mosquitoes out. We've been getting a lot of rain here in Texas and after two months of no rain, mosquitoes are, are blooming up everywhere. I would like to thank Christopher Anderson and Edgar Flores for your donations to the Root Beer Fund. Take a shot to you, brothers. Anybody else who wants to Donate to the Root Beer Fund. Yeah, I know this is cheap A&W. That's all right. Sometimes that's all you can get. Anybody else that wants to donate to the Root Beer Fund can do so by using the thanks button under this video or any of my videos. You can also do so by using the Cash App. Uh, you can send that to me, you know, the dollar sign, and then a Jeep, a drone, and that'll find its way to me just like that mosquito. There are also links for the Cash App in the description box below. I'll be adding PayPal here soon for those that don't like Cash App or don't use Cash App or don't want to use Cash App or the thanks button below. I'll be adding PayPal. That'll be coming in future editions, maybe a week or two from now. Now, like I say, today is August 21st. Uh, the estimated move would be between mid to late August. I have had two people tell me that they have been told the ship is going to move August 31st. Now that is not an official move date and they were told that was a target date not an actual move date but a target date. So we'll see that's a, a win Wednesday I believe that's a Wednesday not sure on that but uh, we'll see if that ends up being when the ship is moved or not. Whatever day it is uh, we'll all be readily available to meet her somewhere along the ship channel wherever we can there are four locations which i plan to mosquitoes are terrible four locations which i plan to fly the drone from i don't know if i will actually hit all four of those locations uh, on that day or not there's there would be quite a bit of driving involved however the ship is not going to be moving that fast so it is possible to get to all those locations and film her and drone her as she goes by. Speaking of drone, ah, man, where's the off when you need it? But anyway, back to the drones. Now Texas, for quite some time, has been in one of the most restrictive states with drone laws in the United States, if you can imagine that. 
freest state on a lot of things, most restrictive on drone laws. So here recently, back in May, I believe it was, maybe March, March or May, a federal judge uh, said that uh, Texas Code 423, which is the drone law, uh, is unconstitutional. So that opens up a wide world of what us drone pilots can now do. And any litigation uh, that was going on, and there was very little, but any litigation that was going on between the state and individuals or organizations because of Code 423 has been nullified and dismissed and no longer going to court. So if you're a drone operator, especially a licensed Part 107 drone operator, the world's your oyster now here in Texas, brother. There are still a few restrictions, reasonable ones. You can't fly over a prison. You can't fly over a gathering of people of, I believe it's a thousand people or more, such as a concert or, or a sporting event, something like that. Any, any kind of gathering of over a thousand people. I think thousand was the number. But other than that, pretty much got free reign. Let's take a walk around the ship before the mosquitoes pick me up, carry me off. They will, of course, carry me off that way because if they carry me that way, the big ones are gonna take me away from them. So let's get walking around the ship, see what we can see. Looks like nothing has changed on the ship that I can see. There are a few pieces of new equipment back here behind the ship on shore. That is at back towards the rear, rear of the ship. If anybody knows what kind of piece of equipment that is. Looks like a pump of some sort to me. As I'm sure you can hear, some kind of grinding going on aboard ship. Now currently here in Texas, we are experiencing a lot of rain, not a lot of wind, but we're supposed to be getting a lot of rain for the next seven days, which we desperately need because we've had them for months on end. I don't know if that would hamper the move of the ship or not. But the closer we get to the end of August, the more it begins to look like we might overflow into September. And that's okay. As long as she gets there safe and sound. There does appear to be a boom of some sort across the slip that she currently sits in. I assume that is something to try to keep silt from coming back in after they just spent all that effort getting the silt out from underneath her. Let's go down there, see if we can get a closer look at it. See if we can find out exactly what it is. It appears that there is some work going on on the whistle. Hopefully they're going to have to sound that when they're going down the channel with it. And it would also appear that there are some divers in the water.
as you can see there's some kind of diving project going on there is a diving flag flying Any of you divers out there, tell us what we're looking at. We're looking at a uh, water pump, obviously. The flag that's flying with the diving flag, I'm not sure what that is. Don't have a good angle on it from here, but it's a blue and white flag. Looks like it's divided in the middle vertically right under the US flag and then there's a diving flag under that they just sounded the whistle and I missed it <laughs> who's gonna tell me that's not awesome now that was sounded with compressed air let's see if we're gonna get another one out of them they're up there working on it still That was pretty loud. That is very loud. Car alarms are going off behind me in the parking lot. Sorry, I'm standing by an air conditioner, which is probably pretty loud to you guys. Let's see if I can get a different spot here. Waiting for that whistle to sound again. Can I enjoy some root beer while I wait? Will it sound again? answers that question don't it I wonder how long it's been since that horn has sounded surely it's it has sounded in the time frame that they've had the ship here surely it's not sounded the last time when they brought it here well one more thing on board has been repaired I would love to see the steam pouring out of it when it sounded with steam but I'll take what I can get some of you Navy guys tell us do those whistles have different volumes, different soundings? Because I think I've heard three different sounds, but I don't know if it's from low air pressure, high air pressure, or if those whistles have different sounds. It's not the best day ever, but dang, this is a great day. I am about, I would say, 150 to 175 yards away, and it is extremely loud. There's a guy right underneath it, about three feet underneath it, I certainly hope he's wearing ear protection. I can hear him talking about pressure. Tom, I know you told me you were planning on coming down here today. You missed a good one, brother. But you never can tell when it's going to be good or when it's going to be the same old thing. But this, brother, is a good one. I can hear air pressure running through it. Amazing, because I was just about to record a close and head on out. There's rain, uh, probably I'd say 270 degrees around me, there's rain. So eventually it's gonna get here. I can see a bucket being lowered down. Maybe they needed another bucket of steam. <laughs> Got so excited, I almost drank all this root beer in two swallows. Well, they're coming down. So I assume whatever they're working on for the meantime anyway, they're done. But we were here in a great moment of history, people. I guess probably, and I could be wrong, but I would assume that the last time that horn was, or whistle was sounded was when she moved in 88, 89. So it's been a minimum of 30 some odd years since that whistle has sounded. What a great moment to be here. One we're all gonna miss when they move her because we can't be here. All right, man, this 
This was a day to be here, to hear that whistle sound like that, even if it was from compressed air, and even if it was not full power, don't know if it was or not, but what a great day to be here. I'm so glad I could be here. It was awesome. She lives, she breathes, she's alive. What a day. I'm glad you were able to at least watch this video and see it and hear it. Woo! Makes me, can't even explain what it makes me feel like waiting for the move now. I am ready for the move. I'm ready. I'm ready, ready, ready. Stick around. You'll be there with me. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming by. What a great day. See you later. remotely because there's nobody up there with it. Man, I don't even want to go home. I want to sit here till they run me out. But, gots to go. Exit stage left. Wait a minute. Right.